Hey folks, welcome back to Combo Class. I'm your teacher, Demotro, and today I'm not wearing my lab coat and I don't have my whiteboard set up to do any math. In fact, I'm using it as a version of my desk because today I'm dressed like one of my clocks for Halloween, a fun holiday in season when there's lots of good spooks and lots of good pumpkins. So today in combo class, we're gonna investigate some things about pumpkins and the rare family of things they come from. Pumpkins are not only fruits because they are the seed bearing part of the plant, but they are also berries. Not a cultural berry, meaning not the way that the term berry often describes things in our culture, but a botanical berry. Because botanically, a berry is a fruit that is grown from a single flower with a single ovary. And a pumpkin fits that description, along with a lot of other things that might surprise you. So let me draw a Venn diagram here on this whiteboard table to put some botanical berries, some cultural berries, and maybe some that are both. One fruit that fits both labels of being a botanical berry and a cultural berry is a good old blueberry. Oh man, I love berries. In fact, berry was one of my first words as a child. Now a raspberry, although berry is in its English name and we all think of it as a berry, botanically is not a berry. It only goes on the cultural berry side here. It's actually something known as an aggregate fruit. And a strawberry is also not botanically a berry. It's not only an aggregate fruit, but it's also known as an accessory fruit because really each of what looks like a seed on the outside there is really something called an akeen. That's a fruit of its own containing a seed inside it. So that just goes on the cultural berry half too. Now on the other side of this Venn diagram, things that we culturally don't call berries, but botanically technically are, include persimmons, bananas, even watermelons and other melons. Oh. And in addition to these fruits that are botanically berries, but culturally not, there are many fruits that we consider as vegetables that even technically are not only fruits, but are berries. And we don't have time today to fully unravel the conspiracy of what vegetable means. But let me show you some things that you may consider a vegetable and secretly are a berry. Avocados are botanically berries. Peppers of all sorts are botanically berries. Maybe I'll take a bite of this really hot one later at the end of the episode, we'll see. And these, which look really similar, but this one is a zucchini and this one is a pickling cucumber, are also all berries. In addition to, like I mentioned earlier, pumpkins, which are also All right, we'll give a little more room in this botanical berry part of the diagram so we have room for the pumpkin too. But even though a pumpkin is a berry, what is a pumpkin? Well, it's a type of gourd and gourds are a type of berry, but this is definitely a pumpkin. Is this a pumpkin? Well, it's pretty pumpkin looking, but it's a little greener, a little bumpier, a little smaller, but it was called a pumpkin at the market. And if I saw it, I'd probably go, yeah, it's a pumpkin. But what about this? Is this a pumpkin? Well, now it's all white and flat and smaller. And it was called a pumpkin at the market, but it doesn't look as much like one. And once we get to ones like this, they're very similar botanically here. All of these berries have a lot in common, but this one they called pumpkin and these ones they called squash. But that was to a degree a choice of the grower or the market because botanically, 
pumpkins and squashes and gourds have no specific exact botanical distinction. For all you know, you could name this one isn't a pumpkin, that one is a pumpkin, because they're all berries of the same family, and this pumpkin gourd squash conspiracy has tricked us into thinking that, oh, pumpkin must be one specific botanical thing, but really it's just grown to mean a large, thick-skinned, orangish one of the gourds. So if Halloween is a holiday somewhat themed around pumpkins, it's kind of up to you whether you call one of these a pumpkin too. <laughs> and this whole berry conspiracy has tricked us long enough. It's also time to remember that Halloween is a holiday of berry celebration. We're celebrating one of the biggest berries there is. I'll also flash on screen some more botanical berries that you don't expect to be berries and some more things you think are berries that botanically aren't. But now since it's Halloween and this episode is mostly about pumpkins, let's proceed to one of my favorite parts of Halloween. The tradition where you cut open pumpkins, carve them with something and then oh! light them on fire. Uh, so before we proceed, let me put on my safety coat. <laughs> you can actually cook the seeds of pumpkins or other parts like the main meat of it and make it into soups and all sorts of other dishes. And from what I've read, it's even safe, and don't copy this and don't take it as my recommendation because I'm a mathematician, not a food scientist, but from the data I could gather, it seems safe for me to eat some raw pumpkin even without cooking it. I saw one thing where it was associated with being contaminated with E. coli, but I think this is a non-contaminated pumpkin, and I think my digestive system can handle it. Again, don't copy this, but I want to see how it tastes. Raw pumpkin. It's, it's not bad, it's kind of like a carrot. All right, now time to scoop out all these guts so I can carve this. Now time to give this baby a face. And do remember, if you're ever cutting something, especially something as thick as a pumpkin, to cut away from the direction of your hand or body to be safe. But we did get that successfully and safely done. And now our fellow with his hat on is complete and ready to put a candle or something inside and light on fire. All right, normally you might do this when it's more dark out, but I can't wait. Let's light this jack-o'-lantern and eat some berries. Mm. All right, folks, thanks for coming to combo class. Stay safe and don't copy anything you see me do apart from the mathematical parts. <laughs> And I hope you have a magnificent Halloween. Make sure to appreciate your berries. All right, I was eating all these leftover berries and I remembered that I said I was gonna maybe eat a bite of this really spicy jalapeno, which is technically a berry. And since I love berries so much, I should try one of these again. Now you should know that pickled jalapenos are way less spicy than a raw one. And it really ranges how spicy they are. I've noticed the raw ones, like maybe depending on factors like ripeness. So I don't know how bad this one will be, but I will give it a shot for the sake of science. All right, okay, now really that's the end. Thanks for coming to combo class.